deputy leader of the Congress in the Lok Sabha, Gaurav Gogoi, had moved a no-confidence motion against the government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. According to Rule 198 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of the Lok Sabha, a no-confidence motion is a motion expressing want of confidence in the Council of Ministers. A no-confidence motion needs a majority vote to pass the House. If individuals or parties abstain from voting, those numbers will be removed from the overall strength of the House and the majority will be taken into account. What is no-confidence motion? Article 75 of the Constitution says that the Council of Ministers shall be collectively responsible to the Lok Sabha. It means that the ministry stays in office so long as it enjoys confidence of the majority of the members of the Lok Sabha. In other words, the Lok Sabha can remove the ministry from office by passing a no-confidence motion. The motion needs the support of 50 members to be admitted. It need not state the reasons for its adoption in the Lok Sabha. It can be moved against the entire Council of Ministers only. It is moved for ascertaining the confidence of Lok Sabha in the Council of Ministers. If it is passed in the Lok Sabha, the Council of Ministers must resign from office. A motion of no confidence, once admitted, has to be taken up within 10 days of the leave being granted. The Speaker, after ascertaining the views of the government, decides the date for the discussion. If the government so desires, the discussion can even be taken up forthwith. The time for the discussion is usually fixed on the recommendation of the Business Advisory Committee. After the members have spoken, usually the Prime Minister himself replies to charges leveled against the government. The mover has a right to reply. When the debate is concluded, the Speaker puts the question forthwith and ascertains the decision of the House by a voice vote or a division if demanded. Rajya Sabha is not empowered to entertain a motion of no confidence because the government is collectively responsible under the constitution only to the directly elected house of the people, Lok Sabha. Previous no confidence motions. It was during the third Lok Sabha in 1963 that the first motion of no confidence was moved by Acharya J.B. Kriplani against the government headed by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. The debate on the motion lasted for 21 hours over four days with 40 MPs participating. In his reply, Nehru remarked, a no-confidence motion aims at or should aim at removing the party in government and taking its place. It is clear in the present instance that there was no such expectation or hope. And so the debate, although it was interesting in many ways and I think profitable too, was a little unreal. Personally, I have welcomed this motion and this debate. I have felt that it would be a good thing if we were to have periodical tests of this kind. Since then, there have been 27 more no-confidence motions moved in the parliament. Prime Minister Indira Gandhi faced 15 no-confidence motions. However, none of these was successful in dislodging a government. The first no-confidence motion that led to the falling of a government was moved by Y.B. Chawan in 1979 against the government of Prime Minister Moraji Desai. After a 9-hour debate spread over 2 days, Desai resigned before the motion could be put to vote. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and share this video and do subscribe to this channel.